Hey guys, my name is Tila Herman with Team Eat Real Be Real. I want to talk to you today about personalizing your posts so that you don't come across as being a walking, talking, um, cardboard cutout salesperson for Beachbody. Um, we don't like that. So let's talk about how we're going to go about personalizing your posts, okay? Um, or peeping, right? I'm awesome at uh, 4.30 in the morning, let me tell you. I, I'm just, I'm a riot, I'm a bag of laughters. Okay, personalizing your posts. You want to talk about Beachbody, but you don't want to do it in a copy-paste um, sort of way all the time. You know, yes, we do use copy and paste when it, um, when we can, like when explaining what the challenge group is about, because you answer that question so many times a day. You know, as, if you're inviting, you know, three to five people like you should be every day, then um, you most certainly should be having to answer that same question of what is a challenge group. So have that already out, but certain things you're going to want to personalize. Um, one for me is, this is just an example actually that I thought of right before I started, um, before I hit record, but growing up, um, and especially while I was self-conscious about my weight, I don't know why, but I, I've didn't feel good enough to wear makeup. I don't know. And I mean, it, it wasn't a huge deal to me though, but I still, I wasn't that girly girl that got dressed up and, and enjoyed getting, you know, her makeup on and stuff like that. Never really have been until recently, until um, I've started to see, you know, what, what really putting your body first means and how amazing it can be when you do. So, um, and hey, let, let's be real, um, you know, <laughs> I'm like, time's going faster, it seems, you know, like, we're getting older, I'm, I'm getting older, I don't know if you are, but age-wise I am, um, as far as my being, no, I'm much younger now than I ever was in my 20s, but, you know, it's like you want that outside, of course, to match how you feel on the inside, so I've recently been wanting to wear more makeup when it's time to go out, and, you know, I don't know, just to make myself feel better, and and it helps me, it does, especially being, you know, the stay-at-home mom where, you know, I'm not going to lie, I could get away with wearing my workout clothes for three days in a row, and... <laughs> Who's going to know other than my husband? You know, my kids aren't going to notice. And, and what, is my husband going to notice? Probably not. Anyway, personalizing your posts. Let's talk about that. I wanted to say, like, um, I'm probably going to make a post today. And when I do, um, I don't know, maybe I can tag you guys in it. But I'm going to talk about before and after, you know. And it's not necessarily, hey, when I started drinking Shakeology, you know, it made me have the the urge and desire to start putting on foundation and to use eyeliner and no, but I'll talk about, you know, Hey, before when I wasn't putting myself first and when I didn't honor my body, I didn't care as much about, you know, what I look like. That's not to say that you have to care about what you look like. This is just me personally. So that's another thing you have to be careful because you don't want to offend the people who are um, adamantly against makeup and always have been, you know, so anyway, um, make it about you, you know, because it is again about you. This isn't about Beachbody. This is about the fact that um, the the very one, the very number one person in our Beachbody business as far as sales or customer service or however they want to do their, their ranking goes, there's absolutely nothing that they have that they can offer their clients um, that you can't except for maybe you know years in the business and experience and the only way to get that experience is to to keep asking people every day to keep posting these things every day and I know I'm asking a lot of you guys um, and the average person would have stopped by now and I'm not gonna lie to you the average person after changing their posts and then posting things and not getting you know this great sense of support from their friends and family the average person would have said that's too much for me it hurts you know and I don't want to do this and there's a lot of my coaches that have done that that have said I can't do this my friends won't support me uh, I mean I could go on and on and on and on and on and on and on so so um, the fact that you guys haven't given up to me proves that you guys are going to make it in this business. It's just hold on just that little bit longer, a little bit longer. Like I promise you're not going to be going months on end in this business without ever, you know, making that sale. Stay consistent. Personalize your posts. Make your posts be about you. I'm going to talk about, 
I am jumping all over the place. I haven't had my medicine, guys. Sorry. Um, but I will talk about, you know, now my how I want to get dressed up and how it hasn't been. And you don't have to say beach body. Your lifestyle change or your journey, whatever you want to call this, because it's just you. You know, I would probably say since starting my journey, this has been the first time that I actually kind of look forward to putting makeup on, you know? And um, anyway, that's, that's just one little tiny idea that I had thought up this morning. I wanted to share it with you guys before it got lost in that craziness that happens in about an hour when I have to get the kids up. So hope this helps. Um, let me know if it did or if it didn't. And I want to see you guys start posting more personal um, posts. Start PPing it up, okay?